Hey guys, welcome back to another Bogeyman video. We were invited to play in the Irish Legends Tour event here at Seapoint Golf Links. So we're going to be playing two rounds of golf with some of Europe's greatest golfing legends. But we're going to be bringing you guys with us to show the full Inside the Ropes experience of what a tour event is like. So stay tuned, enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Straight away from the like the check-in experience all the way through to the first tee and then obviously playing. It's a really, really unique experience. It's actually like straight away it hits you how how big this event is. When we checked in, it was really cool. Like you walk in and you, and you check in, you get your tea time, you figure out who you're, you're playing with. But then you had a lovely gift bag. It was it was I'd be a really nice kind of kit of stuff that we got, a real goodie bag. Mick, however, the absolute bandit won the team competition yesterday. Maybe with an idol of his, Teddy sharing him. Today's the big day. We're uh, playing in the first of two big days, actually. Playing in the Legend Store event here at Seapoint Golf Links. We were both there pretty early. We were warming up. But then you looked up the driving range and you see Ian Woosom, major winner. You see Paul Ari, major winner. Michael Campbell, major winner. Like guys that have played on Ryder Cups, won Ryder Cups. That's an experience that you just don't get anywhere else. Unless you're playing something like you know, Pell Beach Pro Out. Yeah. A little nervous now. I mean, obviously played in the Pro-Am yesterday. Um, once I got settled in, it was, it was all right. But I mean, today's a bit more serious. Like it's, you know, these guys are all playing for money today. Um, I'm playing for pride. <laughs> Michael's, you know, he's a bandit. He's already got a win this week. So anything after this is kind of gravy for him. So as the, uh, as the low man on the team, I need, feel like I need to perform. So I was partnered up with Mark Farry, French professional golfer, and Gustavo Acosta, an Argentinian golfer. The two of them were great fun, we had a lot of laughs, and they were really good, along with Gustavo's caddy Ray at giving me lines, helping me with reads, and even just having a lot of fun and making my way around the golf course. Those guys were great, and from what I heard from other amateurs playing the competition, that was their consensus across the board. All of these guys, even though they're competing in a competition, are great fun and are always there to lend a hand. And today's a competition day for those guys, and the sense of how serious the event is kind of hit home with me. Like I was very, very nervous when it came to the first tee. Once, once the pros had hit there, and they, they had hybrids from back there, just straight down. And then I was very nervous when he announced my name. I had to stand up in front of, I think there was about 50 people standing here, all watching, and I, I was shaking like a leaf. Still very nervous. Far more nervous than yesterday. The pros were brilliant. They, they, they make you feel so comfortable, and they, they chat to you. And like, they were helping me read putts, and they were, you know, after their putts, it's fast here or slow, it's right to left, which was it was great because it, 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 it you were talking to them about their, their game as well. And it all kind of adds into the experience of, yeah, it's a very serious couple of days for them, but they do understand that this is a unique, you know, hobby and playing experience for us. Yeah. So they do buy into that. They make sure that you're having as much fun as possible, as well as playing as good golf as possible. Well, that was ugly, but I'll play. These lads are so good. They can they can have the ball on a string, so it's really cool getting to play with them, being inside the ropes. I think people think I'm a pro until they see my swing, and then they know that I'm some hacker. So it's uh, that's really cool. And luckily, they've got a local guy from Sea Point as as a caddy, so he's helped me out, telling me how bad. How, how dead I am in certain areas, so. No, it's really, really, really enjoyable. I'm okay to hit, I'm not, yeah. I'm laying up, I'm not concerned. Strike. This wind is killing me. And then I nearly killed Miguel. Lovely. Yeah. Work out. Work out. Bogey bogey start. I haven't had too many terrible drives. You've got Killian, 
guiding me around the way again, volunteering. Um, going, going, so going well so far. Hopefully now I can make a couple of birdies, twelve pars, redeem myself, and one worse so far through two. But lots of golf to play. We'll go straight out the pin. Okay, two putt. Take that par. First par of the day. It's all right. We've uh, stopped the bleeding. Oh, be as good as you look. Oh no! Ah. I won't even try blame the blame the wind on that. That was just dread. That was just dreadful. That was dreadful. And it was such a nice drive too. And uh, yeah, they're playing solid, solid so far. Can't hit it any better than that. Get down. Get down. I have a shot in this hole. So if I can come away with par here, we'll be, we'll be in a good place. It'll be first proper scoring opportunity now. Bunker. Sure, I haven't been in one today, so probably deserve to be in one. It's linksy. You have to get out of bunkers, I suppose. It's all part of the fun. Probably don't want to hit him. <laughs> ah, it's alright. It's up there. It's alright. Get down, get down, get down. Between the two bunkers, threading the needle. Stay up, stay up. Thank you. Nice. The sixth hole is just brilliant. You come off a pretty tough set stretch of three, yeah. four, five. Like there are three pretty tough holes. Water is a good bit around Yeah, there, it starts yeah. to come in a little bit and then six, you really start to feel the linksy turf coming into play a little bit more. Yeah, it's a little harder under the Absolutely, hands. Absolutely, yeah. 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 So it's a par five, dog leg to the right. Uh, I went into that bunker on the left hand side. It was it's just a dead straight ball. I was like, all right, my little baby Faye's going to come in perfect. Not a chance. Straight into the bunker get out of the bunker, into the rough, and then progress a six iron up there, <laughs> duff a chip for my fourth shot, then pitch it to five, eight feet, I'd say, eight feet for my fifth shot, and drain the, the bogey putt. It was the best bogey. It's not even the best bogey I made today. It's the second best bogey I made that day. But it, I felt so, <laughs> so vindicated by just being able to get through that hole and just play it like the right way. Um, and that's just such a, such a good hole. Like it's a pretty high index. But even the green complex around it, when you when you have like an approach from about 80, 100 yards in, from where the pin was, there's a little mound just in front left of the green. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, that's a pretty new addition to the course because everyone was just running running the ball up, and so now that if you don't throw it onto the green with enough spin, you're either going to go out the back or you're going to land short and just bounce off left and right. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was short and I bounced, I bounced left, and then I had a really tricky yeah. kind of chip thing in. And so. that's just like the the holes not punishing. 
but you know, if you if you hit the incorrect shot, yeah, it'll, it'll let you know. Which I think that that's a really really fun hole. That's grand. Bogey's grand. You know, living up to the living up to the name. Bogey's. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be unhappy about it. <sighs> right. Two more to go. Two beautiful holes, 17, 18. So enjoy this now coming in. Uh, it's been a really cool day. Really enjoyed it. Um, it's been really cool. It's like I got to pretend I'm a pro, which is really cool because the lads are so serious about their stuff and they're lining up their putts and it rubs off on you. So you actually genuinely feel like when you hit a good shot, you're a pro, and then when you hit a bad shot, they're, they're still really nice to me anyway. And I've missed one or sliced one off, so it's really, really cool. Really having a good, uh, good day. Um, Loves know how Johnny's getting on now. He played well yesterday, so I'd say I'd say he's got a he, he could have a really good round in him. Um, so yeah, looking forward to having chats to him now when I go in. Hopefully, he might be sitting there with a beer, chatting to a few pros, and uh, let's see. Hopefully, he's got some good stories. 16. 16. I love 16. Right. And, I, and from the tee box point of view, you can see the seas coming in, you've got all oh, this lovely vista all the way across. You can see nearly, nearly a lot of the golf course, and then you've got to hit a good drive out into there, and you're, it's elevated. And then again, once you've hit a good drive in ferry, it's not too bad, but if you're left or right, you're, 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 you're in trouble in that. To add into the playing experience about how special this is and how cool it is actually to get to play to play with some of the, the, golf, the game's greatest. Coming up 18, <coughs> having the leaderboard up there. Yeah, it's got like Michael Campbell, a couple other guys yeah. up, up there who are you know, playing for their living. And then it's got the amateurs underneath that. It does, it's got, it has it's a got kind of a list of amateur, amateur, best amateur. So that's cool. I mean, neither of us were on that list. No, nowhere near it. But it, <laughs> that would have been cool. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be another day. In classic tour fashion, you have a late tea time, early tea time. So we're out first 8 a.m. tomorrow, which is going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much to Forefront Sports. Thank you so much to the Legend Store and Seapoint Golf Links for having us. This is an experience unlike anything else I've ever had on the That's golf course. It's absolutely incredible. It's, it's amazing. And the fact that this happens every year on the island of Ireland now, it's going to be so much fun. And like the crowds are pretty big, which is great. And then once the weekend comes now, they're expected to get bigger again. Like you got the best of the best coming. Like very, very rarely you're going to get to get a chance to get this close to a major winner, to a Ryder Cup star. It's an experience that we, I have to say, you've got to go check this out. Definitely.